What's up? I'm Nal from Novelogs and Games, and today I'm going to be reviewing tech. Don't know why I did that, but uh, perhaps it wasn't necessary. I don't know. Okay, let's just get the real intro in. Cool beans. We're back. So, from the title, you probably judge. Okay, so we're talking tech. A lot of this is getting edited out, maybe. I don't know, I might just leave it in, because I like to see myself be an idiot. Um, okay, different hat, Montreal Canadiens, you don't care. Just thought I'd mention it. So, first phone, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So, this is a 64 gigabyte model. I don't know how much RAM came with it. However, everyone, pay attention. It came with a pre-installed SIM card, nobody cares, that's not the part that we're talking about. A wall USB charger. Yes, a wall USB charger. That would be this. This is the exact charger that came with it, by the way. It's just too long for me to hold up the entire thing. Now I just use the block to charge my watch. So, yeah. Came with stereo headset. I don't have that. I have a different version of it. Uh, USB connector. Quick reference guide, terms and conditions. Okay, so slide the sleeve out. Samsung Browning, take out this little sleeve here. And then, right away, at the top, we're greeted by Galaxy S9 Plus. <laughs> that's a lot more obvious on camera than in person. Um, well, that's not good. Um, so yeah, and here's your books. Uh, what, there should be a case in here. It would fit, but I guess just not for US variants, because now this box is just flimsy, because there's just nothing in it. Here's your SIM tool. You can see, I'm not going to open this, because that's too hard to put back together. It's like a whole origami lesson. Okay. So, right away, first thing is your phone. Which, by the way, in my hands, naked. Feels a lot weirder than I remember it. Because it's got, like, these really blocky edges to it, I guess. They're, like, really... Sh not sharp, but like, they dig into your hand because it's like, I don't know, it's just like really blocky, I guess. Uh, we got a case for it. Actually, no, for a second, let's look at the back. So it came with two cameras. Uh, I don't know what kind. Uh, obviously, they were Samsung made, but fingerprint sensor, scanner, that, and Galaxy S9 Plus and Samsung brand. So on the front, all your iris scanners, face scanners, you can't see them that well. Jesus. Maybe if I get them in the light, just... No. Uh, kinda. Right there. So there's sensors all along the top. Uh, there's your speaker. And the, you can actually see where the screen meets the edge. Same on the bottom. So this is probably the most full of bezel phone. Apart from my first phone, which was a Galaxy S3. Um, that I've ever had. And the fingerprint sensor is just in perfect placing. Like, you pick up your phone and you're just... So yeah, I'm going to put this in the Samsung section. Well, obviously this little carton thingy to hold your phone. And then at the top, you have where I think your block was. Unless that was, no, your cable was here, your block was here, and your headphones were up here. So that's cool and all. Put this box back together. Just do a little DIY with Noah. And then put this little thingy back in. Oh, I'll ju I just realized this. This has like a little blue tint on the inside, like right here. So this phone color, by the way, is midnight black. Midnight is a midnight black. Where's the name of the color? It's midnight. Is it midnight black? I feel like it is. It says it somewhere. Oh, right here. Yeah, midnight black. Y'all probably saw that way earlier than I did. It's not my fault, I'm blind. Alright, let's, next thing, let's see. This is what my wallet looks like after buying all these. Nothing. Wonderful. Just kidding. Um, next phone. So, you're probably wondering, what happened to this phone and what made you have to get a new phone? This was one of the best phones I've ever had. Not the best, considering the few that are coming up. But this, this here, 
this is this is it this is it and actually I bought these while I had this I think and it's because my mom had airpods and I was like well I want to have something that works better with my phone than having to use her airpods so I don't have them because I lost them somewhere which is kind of scary however I also did get my most recent earbuds my galaxy buds pro stolen uh, like the actual earbuds, not the case, the earbuds are just stolen. So, but these were the silver version, I originally had black, but then all of a sudden they just weren't working or charging, which is weird. But, so, and then I was like, okay, well I had black, so they were gonna send me black and they sent me silver. And silver is more of like a white, but like the outside of the case was like this kind of thing, but like less, less yelling at you, I guess, it's kind of like that. Kind of. It was like that aura glow color on the Note 10. Kind of. So. My belt was on my chair. Toss it on my bed for now. Um, okay, so next phone. What happened to this? So, obviously we have a little crack up here. Don't know what that's from. It's actually chipping up here too, so. There's probably, there's probably water damage. When you shake this around, you probably can hear it. But, like, there's little... <sighs> there, the camera. Something's wrong with the camera. It's shaking around. Okay, next. iPhone XR. Oh, I keep... I keep forgetting to say what happened to this. So what happened to this is I went to close the door. The phone was in my hand. And I... Oh! Smacked it on the door door handle okay I went to close the door and as the door hit the entire door shook and poof, my phone popped off it that's not what cracked it it was actually the back of the phone was facing but it fell down the stairs and I don't think that broke it either but what did break it is it landed on a perfect round rock and caused that so then I was pretty much shit out of luck and I had to get this <laughs> This, this looks so bad on my part, but none of this is my fault. All these cracks, they're not my fault. At all. None of them. This was my aunt's phone. So I was like, okay, well, uh, I guess I have to use this. So I did, for a while. Um, iPhone XR was a pretty good phone, except for all the cracks that were on there. Like, she never put a case on it. It, it was just always being dropped. This is not my fault either. That was like that. This isn't all the cracks. But what happened is, so we were looking for the key to our house because we got it stuck in between the stairs. So, you know, there I was with my flashlight and a screwdriver. And then I was like, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then hit myself in the nose. My nose hurt for like three days straight. And I was like, oh, and then my phone had like fallen probably like two feet to the side of me and had probably rolled like three times. But I found it like this, laying down. And I picked it up and it was like just green, red, and blue. The LEDs just weren't working. The screen was, it was responsive because like you could do the password and it was like, but everything else broken. The screen just doesn't. The sc okay, touch screen works. Screen doesn't. <laughs> Which is funny because what happened happened to this is that the screen works, but the touch screen doesn't register. So touch doesn't register. So about a year later, about iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now this phone, I have a case for this, and I don't want it. Does that just not pick up on camera? I bet you if I focus on it. Ah, uh, yes, the Face ID laser. So, I can't focus on it, but... So this is that phone. This is 12 Pro Max. Okay, we got the triple camera, side rails, which looked cool. Honestly, when I first saw this, I thought it was a fingerprint scanner, so I was excited, because... It is a 5G antenna band. Um, so, here's your power button. Very flat. Here's... Yeah, power button. Volume buttons. Here's your alert slider, at least that's what I call it, that's probably not what everybody calls it. 
And that's awesome matte finish on the back. And then you're probably thinking, wait, you said there's four, so what's wrong with that iPhone? Nothing, I'm just not really a big fan of iPhone. Um, anyways, like I said, there's a case for this, so I'm going to put that on. I used to have a clear case, but if you're a family member of mine, you know that the charging port bit was, like, tearing, and it finally fell off one day, and I just had to, like, get a new case for it, so I was rocking this basically without a case, kind of any protection down here at all. So this case I have for it, it's the sun beating down on a lake, and there's leaves, you know, hovering over, and so this is the phone. I mean, hold on, hold on. Face ID. I can't do it. Let me put in my password. So now let's try Face ID again. Works. Go in. We got that live wallpaper. I I literally only set it up for this video's purpose. Uh, that's that's its only purpose for it being set up. So obviously, first thing on the screen is you can't really see it. You get yourself, but. All the Apple apps, I changed to Google apps, purposely because, I don't know, Google's just my thing. It's my thing, bruh. Okay, new phone. The phone that I am in love with for only so much longer. Here's why. So, Android 12, it's going to be an awesome update for those that are actually going to work with it. However... OnePlus phones are now going to run on Oxygen OS 12, which is basically just Color OS, which is Oppo's software. Not my thing at all. So, as we can see, we have a fingerprint scanner. You can change that, and I'm going to talk about that, the customization on Android. And actually, if I wanted to, I could turn this on, but it needs to charge. And I can prove to you the touch screen doesn't work. So I might do that in this video. So, customization. Wallpapers. You can change your wallpaper to whatever you want. My photo shot on OnePlus Canvas. Um, obviously, you can do that on an iPhone, so that's nothing major. But you can change the accent color. So right now, I have mine set to a custom blue. It doesn't quite come up on camera, but this is my custom color. And then you can change it to any color. So, we're going to leave that. We go to System Icons. I have them set as round instead of any of these. And then Icon Pack. So, on the front, you can choose between Oxygen, Hydrogen, OnePlus, Round, or Square. I set mine as Oxygen because it's the, just the most OnePlus filling. Uh, font, you have OnePlus Sans. And Roboto, or Roboto, however you say that. I have mine set as OnePlus Sans. Then... Wasn't supposed to show you that. Uh, okay, so clock on ambient display. You can change your AOD. At least that's what it's called on Samsung. It's not called that on OnePlus, which stands for always on display. This is not an always on display. It's just on for a minute. Unless somebody knows how to fix that, that would be great to tell me. So you can customize, like, the fingerprint animation. You can change it to, so mine is Ripple, but you can have it as Energy. Cosmos, which I think also is cool, Ripple, Stripe, or none. But I like mine under Ripple. I might set mine as Cosmos one day. And then finally, the notification light, the horizon light. So mine's set as blue. You can change it to red. What is claimed to be orange, it's really like a gold. So like the color of this iPhone. And then purple. That's cool looking. But personally, I like blue. So that's customization you can do on this. Also, you're probably wondering, so the camera is a pop-up, right? And you would be very darn well correct. Oh my god, you can see all my stuff. But that is a pop-up camera. So that means that the screen must be pretty big, right? And that is... Pretty damn true. Let me find a picture to load up and show you. Um, there's a picture of a tree that I took while I was in Denver. I will actually put that here. And when I double tap, we can see that this is all 
display. It's all display. From bottom to top, it's just all display. Another place I can show you this is YouTube. So let's load up, obviously, one of my videos. I can be doing something for... Actually, let's... It's not? No, we'll do it. Google Ads. I'll be right back. Sir Stir Fry is going to be embarrassed as hell, but it's for video purposes, so be happy you're getting a shout out. Full screen to watch. Okay, let's pause on this handsome man. So, we can see that we start up here and end over here. You can. Oh god. That is not a handsome frame. <laughs> His teeth is like sticking out like. Right. Oh, don't ever screenshot that. There, now we can pause on this handsome man. So, as we can see, we have full display. And actually, another way I can show you this is finding a really, really good video that has a lot of 4K in it. So I can fast forward, maybe. I don't know. It's probably not going to work. because. Oh. So you get the point. Hardware, software, no, hardware, hardware is cool. Software though, what are my thoughts on Oxygen OS 11, Android 11? I love it. And Android, there's just so much customization you can put into it that it's just perfect. Like, let's just take one more look at this camera before we continue talking about whatever the hell we're talking about. So, okay. Awesome, we have that. That's fun. I love that. So you can set up like facial facial recognition. However, it doesn't quite. The amount of times your camera is going to be going up, is it really worth it? I don't think so, because you might break the camera. It's only rated to work about 300,000 times. So, yeah. Also, this phone is not IP rated. So Galaxy S9 is like... IP68. So the S9 Plus is IP68. The iPhone 12, iPhone XR. Cheap, I guess, but for high quality. So, alert slider can go from sound to vibrate to silent. Something on iPhone you can't get because you only get silent and sound. So, that's another thing that I can kind of enjoy more on, on, on OnePlus than I am iPhone. Because you only get two choices here, you get three. For those of you that don't believe me, uh, it's probably easier to see on here. So right now, it's on Ring. Now if I push it up, it'll tell me it's on Vibrate. Push it up, silent, all the way down, we're on Ring. So, it's real. Don't think it's not. This is awesome. You know, to have these two... Absolute monsters, two years apart. One that's maybe better. I'm not going to call it. But with each other. You know? that's It's really cool. So next thing I'm going to talk about, since we're on the topic of software, uh, what do I think about Android 11 compared to iOS 14 and 15? This is more interactive and fun. This kind of, it's all right. I, I like it. I like all the notifications that are thinner now and whatever, but I just wish it was as customizable as Android. I mean, it's just so customizable to the point where I could probably have my phone look. You can have your phone look like an iPhone if you wanted to because of launchers. I don't want to. I already have to deal with that. And in fact, like, I even changed all my stuff to Google Apps. So yeah, what? why would I want this to look like an iPhone? So... Next, I'm going to talk about assistance. Hey Google, what's the weather today? What's the weather today? It'll be sunny, with a high of 65 and a low of 37. Currently, it's 62 and sunny. So, it told me what the range is going to be. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? degrees. Expect mostly clear skies starting tonight. 
Temperatures are heading down from 64 degrees to 45 tonight. It didn't tell me what the weather is going to be today. It's telling me what it is now and what the temperature is going to drop to. And kind of like, you know, it's partly cloudy. Um, or clear. What did it say? I don't know. You can't go back and see what uh, she, he said. So mine said it's Irish Siri. This one is just male American Google. Um, also, the animations for them. So like Siri. You hold it. Oh, God. I can't even see that. Off! Can I focus on you? Or do I have to bring you down to low light or something? Whoa, exposure. So maybe if I go to a black screen, so let's open Google Photos and go somewhere that there's just black nothingness. Uh, I've got nothing. Oh, this is soup. Found it. Found a fully black image, sort of, kind of counts. So, we can hold down and see that's the Siri animation, which I'm okay with. However, oh, I don't have my index set up. You can swipe from the side for Google Assistant, and this animation down here is cool. Or you can just say, hey Google, or... Okay, Google. And I like the little aura lights at the bottom, so that looks really cool. Also, you have more activities on Google Assistant. So, for example, I can... Oh my god. Exposure needs to go up. Ah! Up. Burner! No, that's a bad idea. Okay, so. More interactive. Hey Siri. I'm bored. If you're thinking of writing a book, I can't help you come up with a title. Just say, what should I call my novel? Not fun at all. Hey, Google. Oops. Hey, Google. I'm bored. All right. Which one would you like to try? And it gives you f some options to play games with Google. As well as, hey, Siri. I want a riddle. What's in my pocket? Oh, wait. I don't have pockets. That's not a riddle. Hey, Google, give me a riddle. Welcome to Riddle Rooms. And it gives you a whole thing of riddles, and you can continue it, as well as conversations can be continued. For example, hey, Google, animal of the day. I think you're going to love today's animal, the warthog. Warthogs have long bodies that are covered in gray or dark red bristles. They have two big tusks and love eating plants. Amazingly, warthogs are able to survive without any water for several months. This is what they sound like. Hey, would you like to learn a fun fact about warthogs? Yes. Okay, I read on Odyssey.com that a warthog can go without water for long periods of time, even months. Are you up for another fun fact? No, thank you. All right. If you want to learn more about animals later, you can always say... You can carry on the conversation. Now, let me... I don't know what we can ask Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Fun fact. Trivia is information and data that are considered to be of little value. It can be contrasted with general knowledge. It gives me examples. It doesn't give me anything fun. It's boring. Um, so Siri is boring. That's that's just all there is to say about it. So let's take something else into oh compliments. Let's do compliments and jokes. Hey Google. Hey Google. Compliment me. You're more valuable and shiny than gold. You're way cuter too. I'm saving that. That's going to someone special. That's going to someone special someday in my life. Okay, so now let's do compliments on... Hey Siri, give me a compliment. You're more cultured than a yogurt wearing a tiny monocle. What? That wasn't even... That wasn't even cute or anything. It wasn't even... This one said, you're more valuable and shiny than gold. You're way cuter, too. This one said, you're more cultured than yogurt wearing a monocle. 
Shut your cracker up. Okay, so let's try jokes. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? It's pointless. And then it gives you a little animation too, I love that. Uh, why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? It's pointless. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. Why did the cow go to the West End? To see the moo sickles. Really? That's... that You heard that. I know you heard that. I'm not repeating it for you. That was boring. That was sad. B -b 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 why? Okay. Um... Let's do one more joke from Google. Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? It's just too tired. I like that it gives the animation. Like, can you see it? Oh, like, now that I kind of put my hand in front of it. If I put it close to the camera. There's a little animation. So it says, why can't a bicycle stand on its own? It's just too tired. So, kind of of a dad joke, but, you know, better than whatever Siri gave me. Hey Siri, compliment me. You're more cultured than a yogurt wearing a tiny monocle. Does it just say the same thing over again? Hey Siri, give me another compliment. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, of course you don't, because you're just broken. AI, sorry, AI and Siri just don't work with Apple at all. Hey Google, compliment me. It's gonna give me a different You remind one. me of a luminous sphere of plasma floating in space, because you're a star. See, that's cute. You remind me of a luminous sphere of plasma floating in space because you are a star. It gives me different ones every time, and I can just, like... There's a question that says, how beautiful is my partner? I'm gonna click on it. They're hotter than a piece of aluminum zapped by the world's most powerful x-ray laser. I'm just gonna say mostly screenshot that. Am I cute? There's someone that asked, am I cute? You're very cute and unique. Keep being yourself. Okay, Google. Google. Marry me. Let's do it. It said, you're very cute and unique. Keep being yourself. There's another one that said, am I hot? Hotter than a piece of aluminum zap. Yeah, you said that one already. Laser. Someone asked, will you date me? I'm, who's the prettiest person in the world? According to Women in the World Foundation. One, Bella Hadid. Based on the recent report, provide... Someone asked, am I ugly? You always look great. Oh, you always look great. Give him a thumbs up. We'll give Google I'm a thumbs happy. You're happy. Google says, I'm, ha I'm happy you're happy. Uh, hey Google. Will you go out with me? I'll go anywhere you take me. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> I'll go anywhere you take me. There's a question that says, do you have a boyfriend? to say I feel whole all on my own. Plus, I never have to share dessert. Hey, that's a good one. I'm happy to say I feel whole all on my own. Plus, I never have to share dessert. That's pretty good. So, Google, you win every round. Because that was horrible. Apple, fix Siri. Fix it. Just do it. That was sad. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. That is everything I have to say. So, on my Samsung, I used Bixby. On this, it was Siri. So, that's all I have to say. Bixby is also cool. I have Bixby on, Bixby on my watch. Hi, Bixby. And it comes up. So, yeah, Bixby. We'll do Bixby versus Google Assistant next. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. I'm Nav from Nav Logs and Games. Remember to try and get Sir Stir Fry to watch this since he was in it. Not that it matters, and I don't care that he does. I'm not trying to get any clout out of this. I'm just saying, you know, maybe he'll be glad that I had him in this one. Yeah. Tragic, my my buddy. Tragic, you're next. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're, you're in the next video. Also, Bixby's yelling at me. Okay. Bye-bye.